problem number 34. So let's pretend that the word underlined words are not there and let's read around it. Um, so I'm going to read this whole paragraph. The Consolations of Philosophy. Long viewed by many as the stereotypical useless major, philosophy is now being seen by many students and prospective employers as in fact a very useful and practical major, offering students a host of transferable skills with relevance to the modern workplace. So again, it was long viewed. I'm just going to say it's like useless, so we'll just put like a negative symbol that it was useless, but now they're seeing it as useful. Now let's ignore this part. Philosophy is the study of meaning and philosophy is the study of meaning and the values underlying thought and behavior. But more pragmatically, the discipline encourages students to analyze complex material, question conventional beliefs, and express thoughts in a concise manner. So that before part, it's giving the you know, the standard definition of philosophy. And then it says, but more pragmatically, that after part, the discipline encourages students to analyze. So it kind of gives more detail for the practical applications of of philosophy in terms of like the the more specific skill set. So which ones would work or which ones wouldn't work? Well nevertheless wouldn't work at all. Nevertheless is used like uh, you know John uh, didn't study at all for the math test. Nevertheless he still got a hundred. So that doesn't work. In contrast, it's not really signifying any contrast, so we can get rid of that. And it's not giving a specific example either. So in broad terms, works. So it'd be no change because it's saying in broad terms, philosophy is the study of meaning and the values underlying thought and behavior. Here's the broad definition. And then, but more pragmatically, in terms of like the specific practical applications, the discipline encourages students to analyze complex material, question conventional beliefs, and express thoughts in a concise manner. So the right answer is A. Again, stick to what's important. Look, read in context. If you just read the underlying portion, you're not going to understand uh, what's going on. So you have to read around it. Okay, so our last question is problem number 38, so I'll see you there in the next video.